I miss that intro. It's been a while. Um, yeah, if you're still subscribed to this channel, thank you. Um, I know there's a lot of dust on it, so let's go ahead and clean it off. Ready? One, two. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I just wanted to create a video uh, about this Chrome extension uh, that goes on top of Webflow that has been saving me some time on my freelancing side gigs, all right? Uh, so back in March uh, 8th, 2022, Tom Beckers, the creator of flowbase.co, uh, tweeted out this screenshot, and I was like, oh, what? what is this? What is this? And yeah, that's what he responded with. And so if you haven't heard of Flowbase, check it out. It, I think they were the first ones to figure out how to copy elements from an external Webflow uh, third-party platform into your Webflow project. Um, and yeah, they've taken that to the next level by creating a, in, an extension. I'm going to show you it right now, all right? So I'm going to go to a very blank project and let's, it's right here, flow base. And, oh, let me close these real quick. Okay, cool. So this extension gives you pre-made components. It has a pre-made UI system. It has some guides, icon sets, and a tool belt. So I'm going to go through each of these really quickly just to show you how powerful this is and how much time it can save you. So uh, going to components first and then navigation and if you need a mega menu, you can just look at these thumbnails and see, hmm, which one do I need? Which one do I need? Uh, let's get this one. Copy it. It's copied to my clipboard. So now I got to click on the body tag. Paste. There you go. There you go. All the styles, all the, all the mobile, all the, like everything. It's already done for you. All right. So let's preview it and see what it does. Now, all you got to do is just just change it, change the colors, change the text. Uh, I mean, that's it. You even have like a little I didn't, and let's check out uh, mobile. Look at that. So usually I would teach you all how to how to build this from scratch. But I mean, if there's something that is done for you, use it. However, there will be a time where you're like, okay, I need to mess around with some of the styles. That's when you're going to have to learn the fundamentals of grid, flexbox, um, the CSS box model. Yeah. So you may break things after you uh, start to customize it more and more. But if this is the exact, say, component template that you need, then you're good to go. All right. So let's go ahead and delete it and show you other things. I'm going to clean up the styles. There we go. Hey, clean up. Okay. Well, we'll leave it like that. All right, cool. All right. So you have navigation features, footer. I mean, like all these things. So obviously um, you have the pr uh, free and the premium. Premium is going to have more things that you can copy into your project than the free. Uh, but I really feel like it's worth it because uh, it saves you so much time. And so when it saves you time, it's saving you money. So yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. A lot of things to play with here. A lot of things, including multi-step form. I see a lot of people like, how do you make a multi-step form? How do you, well, there you go. Just copy it and paste it into your project. All right. So, um, the flow UI system, it's really nice cause it's like the components, but it's more, uh, pared down. So it's not fully styled. So let's go to navigation again and, um, let's go ahead and copy this to the clipboard, paste it here. And there you go. So it's, as you can see, it's very more, it's, it, this it's not really, really styled. All right, but check this out. They are using the Webflow navbar component, okay? So this is the component that if you click plus and you drag the navbar in here, this is basically that, but styled in a more modern way. So the reason what I'm talking what I'm talking about is right here. So 
in the Webflow container, uh, sorry, the Webflow navbar component, it has this container. And I always tell people in my past streams and my past videos, uh, no, drag all three elements out of the container, delete the container, add a div, and then drag all of those into that new div. And now you have more, oh, come on. What? What? What happened? I can't do it. There it goes. And now you have more control over the, the style of the container. All right. However, if I delete that and go to the flow, you, um, yeah, the flow UI one, the flow base one, they've already done that. And then some, all right. So yeah, this is using Flexbox. This is, yeah, it's using more modern things. So yeah, much, much faster. And not only do you get the, the flow UI system, but guides to help you through stuff. Like a lot of the usual things that clients have been asking for, like how do I count up in, in how do I count up inside of Webflow? So it gives you a guide right inside of Webflow. So you don't have to like switch tabs. No, you can just go there and like, okay, once you're done, like for example, okay, now you need to copy the script, this right here. So I'm gonna copy it, Oop. copy it and paste it into my, into my code. Well, I need to add a hosting plan, but yeah. So you add it to the code and then there you go. So a lot of cool things, but um, this one right here, yes. Yes, icons, icons inside of Webflow. So for example, if I want to take a, uh, an icon, let's look for, um, let's look for, I don't know, edit. Cool. So I have a page with the edit. So I'm going to click on this. Now the, the icon is say, or is copied into my clipboard. So what I can do is let's go ahead and let's just put a pre-built layout real quick from Webflow. Okay, cool. So let me paste that icon. And there you go. This icon is pasted. Now look, it's not an image. It's an embed component with HTML with with the SVG code inside of it. And the fill is already set to current color. So if you're used to um, Webflow and you're used to um, putting in SVGs, you usually remove whatever fill color and then add this code of current color. So that way you can just style it any color inside of Webflow. So for example, like this. So you have more control over its color, including a hover state. So if I want it like brighter like this. And so now if I preview, there we go. So, so much faster. I'm now wondering, does it have social icons? Okay, so it does have Twitter, Instagram. There we go, Facebook. How many times, oop, phrase. Yeah, there you go. So how many times have you gone to, well, for me, I've been going to like flaticon.com and just downloading SVG and then opening it up to get the code and, well, there you go, saving time, saving time. All right, last thing is this tool belt. And yeah, I haven't used these yet, but you can uh, ch um, reorder your swatches inside of Webflow, um, or you can download swatches into Webflow if you wanna like export it from Figma, or you have a JSON file, or you just wanna pick something from here. For example, let's use Bloom. Import, apply changes, ref refreshes your web flow. And let's go ahead and color this right there. So time saver, time saver. Okay, so my overall review of this is again, it's a, it is a huge time saver, especially if you are creating components from scratch uh, for common components 
and you can just copy them to a clipboard from your uh, Flowbase Chrome extension and paste it in rather than having to build it from scratch, all right? Uh, but uh, my only thing about this, uh, the only thing I would ask, and Tom, if you're watching, is before copying it to a clipboard, it'd be nice to preview what I'm about to copy because seeing that little thumbnail isn't enough. I would love to, um, instead of pasting it into the project, and replacing any styles or overriding any styles, uh, just to see what that component really looks and feels like, I'd like to preview it before making a decision. So Tom, if you can get on that, please. But uh, either than that, yeah. If you, um, yeah, if you have any other uh, Webflow integrations or no-code tools that you want me to review, go ahead and put it in the comments below. Thank you, thank you, everyone who has stuck with this channel and has stayed subscribed. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.